All right, fans of music, welcome back. It is Dave, the Real Music Observer, observing real music in real time for real people, just like you right there, just like me right here. And I am honored and blessed that uh, movie producer Michael Bell sent me a link to his latest work, a documentary that he's just wrapped up about the life and times of the late, great Randy Castillo, former drummer for both Motley Crue and Ozzy Osbourne and various other projects. Uh, Castillo, one thing I came away with uh, after watching this, uh, it was a very emotional documentary, especially toward the end, but I came away with the fact that Randy Castillo was just uh, a beast of a drummer. I mean, the fact that he landed in Ozzy's band uh, is, is really no coincidence. It's just the fact that this guy had his own style of playing. It was relentless, it was original, uh, and he could, he could just light up a drum kit. Uh, his, he made other players who he played with better players. He made the rhythm section come to life. He made the bass player come to life. And uh, they talk about how when uh, Tommy Lee decided to leave Motley Crue, that when um, Randy came in, and apparently Tommy Lee had, uh, Tommy Lee's got some other stuff going on right now with his son. I could just deviate here and do another video on that, but I'm just gonna keep my powder dry on that one. Uh, but when Castillo came in to Motley Crue, he was replacing a guy who, didn't seem like he really wanted to play rock music at that point, which, um, you know, it just, anyway, he revitalized the crew for at least one album. Uh, I believe that, uh, that new tattoo album that came out. And uh, if you listen to it, it's a fan favorite. But Castillo's work really uh, kicks into high gear when he's in Ozzy's band. And again, you know, you think of, you know, Randy Rhodes, Randy Castillo, maybe guys named Randy should stay away from Ozzy. I, I just, I don't know. But the life and times of this person, uh, you really, you look at him not only as a drummer, but as a human being. The documentary does a wonderful job in going behind the scenes, getting firsthand accounts from people who knew him well. Uh, Again, from the musician standpoint, uh, I mean, people couldn't parade in front of that camera fast enough to give their uh, positive perspectives on this guy as a drummer and as a human being. Uh, his family members, his uh, girlfriend at the time of his death, uh, just a gut-wrenching part of the film for me to watch toward the end. Uh, Randy is diagnosed with cancer. Uh, he spends, I think, about a year or so getting treatment. It looks as though things are going to be okay, and then shortly thereafter that, uh, after the cancer is in remission, it comes back, and it comes back uh, very powerfully and very strongly, and uh, ends up eventually taking Randy's life. Uh, his girlfriend at the time talks about how, you know, they would probably have a child and they would have definitely gotten married. Uh, if Randy wasn't as sick as he was, he would have definitely asked uh, his girlfriend to marry him. It just There's tons of emotion in this. Uh, this is a great documentary because it really has you watching uh, and it doesn't waste a lot of time on the, you know how some documentaries do like an hour on the history of when he was a little kid and how he got into the band and you know played drums for the high school group or something this doesn't this doesn't waste too much of your time there it gets right to the meat gets to the heart of things gets to Randy's uh, fame and how everybody respected him by the way and that crossed over you know from melodic rock to more darker material that uh, he got involved with, but I was really happy that Motley Crue had him uh, as their drummer for a while because really the guy was just amazing. And uh, Vince Neil said that there's 
really no way to replace him when they found out that he couldn't tour because uh, they were about to go on tour and Randy's diagnosed with the cancer and it's just bad at that point. Uh, things just go downhill quickly for him. But an amazing documentary. Again, I want to thank Michael Bell for giving me a link to preview this before anyone else got to see it. I feel honored. Uh, I just have this little channel here and he thought I might be interested in spreading the word. There is no name to this documentary as of yet. Uh, my link said uh, documentary screener or movie promotional screener. So look for it. Randy Castillo, one of the great drummers of all time, uh, he went up a few notches on my best of all time drummers. You could easily make the argument that he's probably in the top five all time. Uh, he's that good and uh, he is uh, definitely missed. Uh, Randy was only 51 when he succumbed to cancer, so uh, really sad stuff. All right, I'm done with this video. Go watch the documentary when it comes out and, uh, you know, tell Michael Bell, if you know who he is, tell him that uh, the Real Music Observer said two thumbs up. All right, see you soon, everybody.